I'm Bhargavi, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how users can troubleshoot high CPU utilization for Amazon Relational Database Service for MySQL. So let's get started. Increase in CPU utilization can be caused by several factors, such as user-initiated heavy workloads, multiple concurrent queries, or long-running transactions. Now, to identify the source of CPU usage in your Amazon RDS for MySQL instance, let's review RDS-specific tools such as Amazon CloudWatch metrics and enhanced monitoring and performance insights. Then, we can run queries to detect the cause of CPU utilization in the workload. For this demo, I have an RDS instance that has a high CPU utilization. Now, let's move to RDS console to troubleshoot this issue. First, log in to the AWS Management Console and navigate to the RDS console. Then select the TB Instances page. Select the instance on which you are facing high CPU utilization and navigate to the Monitoring tab. Choose the CPU utilization graph. The graph opens in a model window. Select the time periods when you were facing the high CPU utilization and note the information. You can use the other filter options to help narrow down your metric. For example, select maximum from drop down list to see the maximum value that the metrics reached in that minute. Or select a particular time by hovering over the metrics and selecting the particular part. Now we have narrowed down the timestamp when the value was high for CPU utilization. Now, you can use CloudWatch metrics to identify CPU patterns over extended periods. Compare the graphs, write IOPS, read IOPS, write throughput, and read throughput with the CPU utilization to understand what type of workload is leading to high CPU. You can also review the enhanced monitoring data associated with your TB instance for the timestamp that you are interested in. You can set the enhanced monitoring to collect data at intervals of 1, 5, 10, 15, 30, or 60 seconds. This allows you to collect data at a more granular level than with CloudWatch. Enhanced monitoring provides a view at the operating system or OS level which can help identify the cause of a high CPU load at a granular level. For example, you can review the CPU distribution, system percent or nice percent. As we can see from the metrics, nice percent is very high as compared to system percent. This indicates that the utilization is due to user workload and processes that the OS is performing at higher priority. You can also check the load average minute data in intervals of 1, 5, and 15 minutes. If the load average is greater than the number of vCPUs, then the instance is under a heavy load. Also, if the load average is less than the number of vCPUs for the DB instance class, then CPU throttling might not be the cause of the application latency. Make sure to check the load average to avoid false positives when diagnosing the cause of CPU usage. As we can see from the metrics, the load average minute is greater than the number of vCPUs, which is 2 in this case. This indicates that the instance is under a heavy load. You can also view the OS process list and check which process is taking up how much amount of CPU. Then, you can use performance insights to identify the queries that are running on the instance. Also, on the right panel, you can view the wait events leading to performance degradation. As we can see in the performance insights, one of the wait events is IO file in OTP in OTP data file. The IO file in OTP in OTP data file event occurs when certain SQL statements are performed because the thread must wait for the IO task to be completed. SQL statements showing a comparatively large portion of this wait event might be running disk intensive queries, or they might be requesting data that can't be satisfied from the in OTP buffer pool. Further, you can run the following queries while the CPU utilization is high to identify why it's happening. Let's use these queries to see what's going on in the database. Note that the test is performed on a TB instance running on version 5.7.34. The 
the show process list command shows you the threads that are running currently on your MySQL instance. Sometimes the same set of statements might continue running without completion. When this happens, the subsequent statements must wait for the first set of statements to finish. This is because in ODB row level locking might be updating the same rows. Note, run the show process list query as the master user. Otherwise, if you are not the master user, you must have MySQL process server administration privileges to see all the threads running on a MySQL instance. Without admin privileges, show process list shows only the threads associated with the MySQL account that you are using. The InnoDB TRX table provides information about all currently running InnoDB transactions. The InnoDB logs table provides information about logs that an InnoDB transaction has requested but hasn't received. The InnoDB log weights table provides one or more rows for each blocked InnoDB transaction. You can run a query similar to the following to see the transactions that are waiting and the transactions that are blocking the waiting transactions. The show engine InnoDB status query provides information from the standard InnoDB monitor about the status of the InnoDB storage engine. The show global or session status provides information about the server status. You can also enable query logging in Amazon RDS for MySQL. Consider following approaches to analyze the logs. Analyze the MySQL general query log to view what MySQL D is doing at a specific time. You can also view the queries that are running on your instance at a specific time, including information about when clients connect or disconnect. Note, when you enable the general query log for long periods, the logs consume storage and can add to performance overhead. Analyze the MySQL slow query logs to find queries that take longer to run than the seconds that you set for long query time. You can also review your workload and analyze your queries to improve performance and memory consumption. Tip: When you use slow query log or general query log, set the parameter log underscore output to file. Use the MariaDB audit plugin to audit database activity. For example, you can track users who are logged in onto the database or queries that are running against the database. If you use Amazon Aurora MySQL Compatible Edition, you can also use Advanced Auditing. Auditing can give you more control over the types of queries you want to log. Doing so reduces the overhead for logging. Use the InnoDB underscore print underscore all underscore deadlocks parameter to check for deadlocks and resource locking. You can use this parameter to record information about deadlocks in InnoDB user transactions in the MySQL error log. After the query causing high CPU utilization is identified, you can run MySQL native commands such as explain, profiling, or analyze to optimize your workload to reduce the CPU consumption. Also, if, if you see a query that's not required for your workload, you can terminate the connection using the following command. To find the process ID of a query, run the show full process list command. So now you know how to troubleshoot and resolve high CPU utilization for your Amazon RDS for MySQL instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.